I, should, I keep forgetting to ask people if they're going to care at all about the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm uh, betting the answer for the most must. part. No, well, but. if they were, they wouldn't be watching us. <laughs> we got, is it Jason? Yeah. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. I, I got two questions. The first one is, uh, don't you think that the word atheism kind of marginalizes what it means to be rational? Because it gives people an easy way to dismiss not believing in God because it's an ism. And the second question kind of dovetails into what you're talking about. Um, people that are really religious always argue that you can't have morals without religion. Mm-hmm. But uh, you could, you could, the follow argument to that is, well, you can't have all these atrocious morals without religion, like hating gays or right. like wanting to destroy another civilization because it doesn't fit with your religion. So you, there's, a, there's, a, there's a downside to having to that argument, well, you can't have this innate belief without religion. Right. Uh, I, I think Richard, Richard Dawkins says that it's just natural for people to, uh, you know, squabble over perceived differences. Uh, if I can see that one, you know, if one guy is white and one guy is black, then that's something to identify themselves by. Uh, you know, Dr. Seuss uh, parodied, parodied that brilliantly with his sneeches, where some have stars and some don't. The stars, the ones with stars, think they're better. Um, and Richard Dawkins points out that um, religion is just kind of an artificial way to divide the world into us and them. I mean, you know, you can't visually see what religion somebody is, so it's really imposing. Oops. We lost Jason. It's really imposing a completely unnecessary distinction between people in some ways. Yeah, with regard to the first thing, you know, d- d- does atheism carry with it significant baggage to kind of underplay? rationalist views. Well, rationalism has a specific meaning in philosophy, and I don't think it necessarily applies to all atheists. Um, and even naturalist doesn't, even, although I think it applies to much more. Yeah, there's, there's baggage with the atheist label. Um, I, I, I choose to use it for a couple of reasons. Um, one is, even if somebody were to view it, atheist is equivalent to anti-theist, which it isn't necessarily. Um, at least in that case, it's clear what it is that I'm opposed to, that it's not, you know, just Catholic or Protestant or Muslim or whatever, um, that I'm, I'm actually opposed to this faith-based proposition um, that a God exists and that people can, you know, hear what he wants them to do, and then they're going to dictate it to other people as well. Right. I mean, you know, if you were to go up to a Christian and say, hi, I'm not like you, I'm rational, the yeah. Christian would say, well, I'm rational too. I mean. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think that the rational, there's no word that's going to, that's going to sugarcoat this in order to make it uh, acceptable. We're talking about people who, uh, in many cases, believe they have evidence. In, in other cases, believe they don't. They don't. They don't care who has evidence or doesn't have evidence. Um, they've had some kind of personal revelation that makes it true, um, and they've got you know the the infinitely wise creator of the universe on their side, and we're so clearly wrong that it doesn't matter what label we put on it. So when Sam Harris comes out and says, hey, maybe we should stop using this atheist label and pick up something like Bright's, um, which I laugh at every time, uh, yeah, I don't see where you're solving anything. It doesn't change who I am. It doesn't change what my beliefs are. It doesn't change what I feel that the problems are. So put whatever label you want on me. Call me an agnostic, call me an atheist, call me a materialist, a naturalist, a secular humanist, uh, an evil, godless heathen. I don't care. I choose the atheist label for a couple of reasons. Number one, it promotes conversation with the people who I think conversations may actually be productive. And it discourages conversation with people with whom conversations are probably futile. Um, if you tell somebody you're an atheist and they get that shocked sneer on their face, you, you know right away there's no point in having a conversation. Um, but if Actually, they, surprisingly, on those, uh, on those occasions when I've tried to cut off conversation with a religious person by saying I'm an atheist, um, I think generally they're more eager to talk to me. Some of them are, but I mean that's the kind of response where at least, and that's not the that's not the cold sneer that I'm talking about. Yeah. If they're eager to have a conversation, then they'll fall into the category of, of worthy worthy of having a conversation. 
Right. I mean, I, I, I remember that when I was in college, I, you know, in college, there's a lot of people lurking around uh, campuses to, w trying to hand tracts to. And one time I said, sorry, I'm an atheist. And they said, oh, really? Why are you an atheist? And the person wound up, I mean, you know, I, I let them follow me around campus so we and continue the discussion. And we had an argument on my way to class. And it was interesting for both of us. Yeah. Um, I think that you, you can get a lot of conversations like that. That's one of the reasons why I tend to use the label. Um, there, there is confusion. We even had, you know, somebody, somebody write in a nonprofit show us yesterday asking us to clear this up. Um, they have a friend who's an agnostic who says pretty much all the same stuff that we do. He just doesn't want to use the atheist label. Okay, fine. I, it, you know, use whatever label you're comfortable with. Um, I'm comfortable with the atheist label in all kinds of ways. Um, in general, theism is definitionally the belief in a god or belief in gods um, and atheism becomes the lack of this belief not the belief in an opposite claim which would be anti-theism it's kind of like the difference between uh, moral and amoral and not moral and immoral um, I don't know if that that clears anything up for anybody else but this whole agnostic atheist <coughs> thing is one that we've actually discussed at Iron Chariots where there's there's not necessarily a mutual exclusion right 